Hi folks, in this video we're going to look at the motors. There are two types of motors, just like the generator, there are two types of generators. The motor, the energy conversion of the motor, it's the opposite of the generator. It's uh, It converts electrical to mechanical. That means we're using the electricity to generate the movement, which is the mechanical, which is an opposite of the generator. There are two types of generator. We have a DC, not generator, sorry. There are two types of motors. We have a DC motor, which is a direct current motor, right? How do you spot a motor? Let's say we are given this. How do you see this is a motor? We have a battery. That means it starts from the battery to the mechanical, which is the coil is going to move here, right? Once you see a battery, you must know it's a motor. But how do you see it's a DC? Um, you can see the ring here. We have a split ring. Split ring commutator, or we call it it's a commutator. It's one ring that it's split. It's a DC. You can see it's a DC right and uh, let's look at this one this one it's an alternating motor right how do you see it's a it's an ac you see by the slip rings that's two rings once you see two rings it's an ac just like the generator right um, this one it converts the electrical to mechanical this one it converts the electrical to mechanical this one is an ac you see by the rings right and you always have magnets, the north to south, um, north to south, which is the magnetic field, and then it's electrical. And here, in the in the in the AC, once you see this circle with that, that means it's an AC power supply, right? That means that this is a power supply, and this one is a power supply, right? Very important that. And the motor using the Fleming's Fleming's left-hand rule. Remember the generator using the Fleming's right-hand rule, right? Still, the thumb is the what? Is the force, or so it's the thrust, or it's the motion. And this one is the magnetic field line, and this one is the current all the time. It's just that it is a left-hand rule and the right-hand rule. And also, uh, okay, let me not let me let me not say that, guys. The components are very important here. The components of these rings here they ensure that the current changes the direction every half a cycle. That's that. And then the carbon brushes. These are the brushes. The brushes they connect. Uh, they connect uh, the, the 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 two brushes. They connect the two brushes. These brushes are not connected, so this wire it connects the two brushes, right? And um, it takes what the current from here to the internal circuit, right? This is an external circuit. So the current it comes from from this external circuit to the internal circuit. Same applies here takes the current, the brushes, there are brushes here. These are the brush, this is the brush, right? And uh, the magnets, they create the magnetic fields. And this uh, commutator, which is a split ring, it ensures the current it doesn't change the direction every half a cycle. Very important. That's basic, guys, basic. The coil is called the amateur, or oh, it's the coil coil, it's an amateur, it conducts electricity, right? I hope that makes sense. The principle that the motor use, um, whether it's a DC motor, an AC motor, it is the motor effect. The motor, the principle that they use, it's motor effect. 